guys, it's Mark from Erickson Machine and Performance. In this video, I'm going to go through a commonly misstepped. So this is a freshly bored top end that I did for a customer. I'm going to show you guys how to properly wash it after the machine work's done. So that way you get it completely clean, get it prepped for assembly. So I'm going to show you the stuff we need to do it and how to do it. Let's get started. All right, guys, I want to start off by thanking everybody. We just hit the thousand subscriber mark. I set out on this goal 10 months ago now, and uh, my goal was to reach a thousand subscribers in a year. And thanks to everybody watching, I made it. The next goal is going to be 10,000 in the next year. So 10,000 in two years. I set high goals, but uh, I really appreciate everybody's support. If you guys want to support the channel, we have sticker packs out now with all our different cool logos, stuff like that. Um, and if you guys follow us on Instagram and Facebook, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be doing a giveaway with some different stuff. Um, so if you want to support the channel, you could buy some stickers. If not, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook and we'll be giving some stuff away. So let's get started on cleaning this. So this is a Cowie 750. It's bored 50 over with a WSM piston kit. So this is a basic hop-up kit I do for customers. There's no porting, just fresh bore. We lighten and balance the, the flywheel. We mill the head to raise the compression. Um, and this sees a great gain all together. So if you guys are interested in something like this, feel free to hit us up. Be happy to do the work for you. So what do you need? After your cylinder is machined, you know, the honing process is basically using a stone that sands away the cylinder, more or less, to a very precise size. But that leaves a grit that's left in it. It takes a good amount of time to clean it, and you don't want to just clean it in, you know, a solvent bath. The best is actually to clean it in the sink with hot water and soap. So I'm going to show you how I recommend doing it and the stuff that makes it easier. So you can always use a sponge if you just have a sponge. Just keep in mind if you use a sponge, you should either just use that sponge for doing this type of work or throw it away. You don't want to be cooking and cleaning your dishes after, you know, going through oil. The other thing, this is what I use. It's a cylinder brush. It's just a round brush. Makes it nice and easy. I have some smaller brushes um, to get in the ports. Not necessary, you can do it with um, rolled up paper towels and picks. I have a polishing stone, which you can buy from McMaster Car. I've showed these before, it's really good for cleaning gasket surfaces. And last but not least, you want a, a little bit of transmission fluid and an oil, WD-40. You can also use two-stroke oil, whatever, because after we're done cleaning this, cast iron rusts really, really quickly. So after we're done cleaning it, we have to cover it in oil quickly so it doesn't rust, defeat the whole purpose of doing all the machine work. So let's get started. So we're just going to wet it all down first, and then I'll take soap, I'll wet my brush, Now I know guys that'll use toothbrushes too. Um, a brush is a brush. You know, it doesn't really matter what you use. But we're going in to get it clean. That's the main thing we're trying to do. So I'll do one, then I'll do the other. You also want the water to be hot, which opens up the pores in the metal. that way. Turn it over and go the other way. Let's start with the first rinse. There we go. 
put a little soap on a paper towel. There's really no such thing as being too clean. The biggest thing you don't want is you don't want the grit to still be in the cylinder when you fire it up because you're going to score the walls as soon as it's started up. Stone. Start washing. So that's just the first of many. Now, I'm going to put soap on the little brush. Go in all the transfer ports. Go on the sleeves. And if your cylinder is ported or you did the port work um, or you had somebody do the port work, obviously you want to spend even more time on the transfers because there's even more ground metal in there. Give it a quick rinse. We're gonna go at it again. I'll rotate it in both directions. A little more soap.
let's check her out again with a new paper towel. Perfect. That's what we want to see. Perfect. Where it comes out just like you put it in. Great. So that's what you're looking for. And then after you're done, we're going to spray this down with oil. You could use two stroke oil. You could use fogging oil. Just very lightly. There we go. That's how the proper way to clean a cylinder after the machine works done. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit us up. Once again, please subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and you guys have a good day. Stay safe. Thanks again.